Good evening, YouTube. I'm in Austin landed in Miami Township, uh, Miamisburg, Ohio. Between the Dayton Mall and Springboro, this is Austin Landon. I did a video down here a few years ago. I just want to show you guys. This is the type of utopia they would, they wish they had in, uh, that they had in downtown Dayton, Ohio. Parking lots have been full here. Businesses are thriving. This Kroger's over here. This is something that the city of Dayton has been wanting. Well, the city leaders have been wanting to have a grocery store in downtown for a long time but Kroger's has told them repeatedly no they're not going to do it and it's a matter of the demographics and the money you know and of course the mayor of Dayton I can almost guarantee you that she would never come down here Nan Whaley which everybody knows my thoughts on that piece of crap mayor she would probably never come down here for any shopping because this is her to have what they have down here or down in downtown Dayton would be her ultimate wet dream this is the utopia that she'd like to tell you that exists in the center of the city but it but it ultimately does it I just came from Buffalo Wild Wings over here I was watching the University of Dayton playing their regular season finale look at the parking lot here and there's many businesses like this tonight where the parking lot is full even at nine o'clock on a Saturday night I mean the city of Dayton leaders would lead you to believe that this same thing exists in downtown Dayton and it doesn't so I want to. So I just wanted to make this video. I'm gonna keep it going for a little bit. Now some of these businesses are closed, but the restaurants are full. This is what they. This is what they would lead you to believe exists in downtown Dayton, but it doesn't. This is similar to the green in Beaver Creek, Kettering, Ohio. They've had this development, I think, is about 10 or 12 years old. And they're always adding on to it because the southern suburbs of Dayton are a growing area. But I'm curious to see what's going to happen here 20 years from now when the demographics may not be there to support all this stuff and you guys know what I mean by that so I'm going to walk around and show you guys some of this stuff but you look at the parking lots for these restaurants and businesses even at 9 o'clock on a Saturday night when some of this is already closed up there's still people here it's Merrill Lynch and Wells Fargo is inside that far building right there in the middle there decent amount of people at these bars and restaurants here this is Nan Whaley's wet dream to see downtown uh, thriving like this but they're like the people that come to this that come to all this stuff right here are the type of people that she wants to get back into the city and live in downtown there's been a few that have been but it'll never amount to the amount of people that would frequent these establishments and uh i'm gonna try and post this video whenever i get the chance to because it's saturday night here 
even though some of these some of that stuff is already closed for the night but yeah you see a lot of cars here this is where people want to be at to be shopping and to be eating out they don't want to be you know downtown Dayton doing this stuff like they like they would have you believe and that lie that they tell you about oh what a great downtown Dayton has and all that other fluff bull crap the reality is people America moved to the suburbs 50 to 70 years ago and they're just and people are just doing you know people would rather do suburban living than they would inner city you know living and there's nothing wrong with that but the city leaders don't want to admit that that just that this utopia that they wish they had in the center of the city just does not exist see some of the businesses health care sell Brady wear fruit and bowl orange theory fitness I haven't made as many videos as I should have the last you know year or so since I have came back from the Philippines but I definitely wanted to show you guys this to to show you that this is what they wish they had in Dayton but they just don't have it and nor is the desire there for the people Dewey's Pizza yeah, pretty much all these restaurants right now through here are, are full. Yeah, they would they would lead you to believe that this same dynamic exists in the center of the city. And it's just not reality people it's just not reality so I just wanted to show you guys this to show you what they wish they had got a nice clean fountain and rocks right there here at Austin Landon And this area, from what I could tell, seems like it's a pretty low, low crime area. You got several restaurants here. Panera Bread. Chewy's. And yet there, there's plenty of people here at this stuff. Field and stream, I think, is already closed. It's 9 o'clock over here. And you could even ride your bike through here as well. Here at Austin Landon. Yeah, the city leaders would love to tell you that this same kind of utopia exists here. But it's... This is not reality, people. Find me any day of the week in downtown Dayton where you see the businesses this full, you know, at 9 o'clock on a Saturday night. And I guarantee you, these people aren't heading to downtown Dayton when they pack up 
and leave here for the night. I mean, that ain't happening, people. That shit is not gonna happen. There's a few empty storefronts, but not that many. Bar Louie, it looks like that closed up, it says available. Cinepolis. There's a few people there, but not as many as there is at other at other uh, establishments here. Looks like electrical outlet down there too. And from what I see, this area is very clean. It's a very clean area from what I could from what I could see of it. Yeah, they would love just to tell you that this same utopia exists in downtown Dayton, but as that song by Aerosmith says, dream on, dream on, dream until the dream comes true. Do, 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 do. Dream on. Well, that's about all that it is. That's all it's ever going to be for downtown Dayton as far as anything like this ever existed there. Because that just is not going to happen, people. Yep, they would love to tell you that this same kind of dynamic exists, but it just doesn't, people. <laughs> so yeah, I had to get on here and show you guys this so I could show you guys what they really wish they had in, in downtown Dayton. But they don't have that. Nor will they ever field and stream. That's a pretty good outdoor place. So yeah, I'm going to wrap it up and maybe I'll come back here when it's or when it's when it's when it's a lot earlier in the day and show you guys what it looks like. You know, when there's still some daylight left around here. So yeah, that's it from Austin Land and the wet dream of uh, of what the city leaders in Dayton, more specifically Nan Whaley, wished that they had down here, but it just doesn't exist, people. That's it for this one.